Hi, if you're a junior high school teacher or a high school teacher you know that you won't be able to teach all the lessons that you have according to your schedule. So what can you do with Moodle to help your pupils learn, review, and test themselves on those things that you won't be able to teach fully face to face? Moodle can be of help here. Welcome to a new How to Use Moodle in the English Classroom video. If you have requested your Moodle sites from the Ministry of Education, you will be able to see the ones that you have. If you haven't done so yet, do it. I want to show you how I can use Moodle to work on a summer's reading, focusing on vocabulary, but not only. Remember that Moodle comes in Arabic, English, and Hebrew. So, select the language, and I will use English. Since I teach at Google High School, I will show you how I use Moodle with my classes at Google using Moodle Mashov. But I will also show you how to use the same stuff on this Moodle platform of the Ministry of Education. Don't worry about the name of the course here, 12th, year, 12th grade 5 point English, because I have chosen this platform just to show you the example of how to work with Moodle. I have imported everything that I had on a summer's reading from on Moodle Mashov into the Moodle of the Ministry of Education. Allow me to start with Moodle Mashov first. Just like the Moodle site at the Ministry of Education, you can have all your courses available so that you can use stuff that you uploaded even a few years ago with Moodle of the Ministry of Education. It will be this year, but you will be able to use the stuff next, next year as well. I can use whatever I have created and uploaded into a Moodle course in another one simply by importing the content from one course into another. Accordingly, notice that I uploaded this in 2016 with a youth class. I worked on a summer's reading and on a few other and on a few other items. Now, this time I'm working on a summer's reading and there are some things that are available to pupils because I'm working with that now and some things that are hidden from my students because I will be using that later. Please remember, both on Moodle Mashov and on the Ministry of Education's Moodle sites, the turn editing on button is very important, just like this is very important where you can see how your pupils see the stuff that you upload by taking the role of a student. And now you see that this is what I have made available to my students on Moodle Mashov. Since my focus here is on the Moodle platform of the Ministry of Education, allow me to show you the role, the, the buttons that I showed you on Mashov and how you work on them with this platform. I have switched my role into the role of a student. Now, this platform doesn't have much because I have only uploaded here the stuff related to a summer's reading. I have returned to the role of a teacher and this is the other button. So, since sometimes my lessons are cancelled because there are other activities going on at school, I try to use Moodle to support my teaching of the story and of vocabulary. To do so, I create, used a few resources and activities, Moodle resources and Moodle activities, to help me teach my students. My name is George. This is my home. Here they are. I have created a Moodle page where I give credits for the contents that I have uploaded here. There are some pre-reading activities. I don't use just those in the book, but I have uploaded a Moodle page to explain what a summer reading is. I have used a Moodle activity called Quiz 
to get my students to write a few things about the author. Of course, they will have to find information by themselves. Then there's the required reading, and I want to help my students read this story even when we are not in a face-to-face -face, uh, meeting. And I have gotten a few YouTube videos with recordings of this story. Reading Bernard Malamud, Part 1 George Stoyanovich was a neighborhood boy who had quit high school on an impulse. Recordings are also available on the Ministry of Education's uh, website, so I could put a link here. Thanks to Judith Weinstein for her help. It is very important to get the students to understand the background, so you might explain what the American dream is. While you could do it in class, you can use a Moodle book, just like I have done, and use a video to do that. You may even want your students to react to that and explain, in their own words, what the American dream is. Notice that they don't have to be in school to do that, or in class, they can do it at home. You can work on vocabulary, and here is something that I have taken from the Ministry of Education's website. You're probably familiar with all this. I have just created a Google presentation, just in case I want to use it in class, but my students can see this at home. Notice, please, that the section on vocabulary is hidden from my students now, but of course I can change that and make it available. I can show this to my students now they can see it. Um, we're talking about vocabulary lists that have to do with a summer's reading. I uploaded them as PDF. I want my students to work on vocabulary, so I created a glossary with the terms that I want my students to learn. And out of that glossary, I created a few Moodle games. These are Moodle games. But of course, you don't have to do the work all by yourself. Using a Moodle resource called Moodle URL, you can upload anything that is suitable and that is available to you in the internet. For example, a Quizlet. You don't need to use only one. You may want to use another one. And then you might want your pupils to have a vocabulary quiz, which I created on Moodle. And of course, you can create your own vocabulary quiz. Remember that Quizlet also has the possibility of letting you test your pupils on whatever you have on that Quizlet. I may want my students to read a summary, so I uploaded that. But you see, this is hidden from my students. And then there's a written summary, just in case I want them to see. And I have used a Moodle resource called Book, because it has more than one page. These are the pages. So you have characterization and the other stuff as well. Do you want to use Kahoot with your pupils? You don't have to remember the link. You just upload it on Moodle and you play it from Moodle. Would you like to have a bridging text to context on Moodle? You may have your students do something here. I have uploaded a Moodle resource called URL where I give them that bridging text and context and it appears on a flip snack. So this is a digital book. Notice the great work that this teacher, this fellow teacher has done, and I can use it in my Moodle course. I can have a post-reading assignment on Moodle as well. And notice that this is also the work of a fellow teacher. Dear students, your post-reading assignment is as follows. 
Imagine you are George Stoyanovich ten years after the story ends. Tell us what's going on in your life, how it has changed. For this, create and design your vocal type or record your speech, and then share your vocal link on the forum, which is called Post Reading. Undoubtedly, Hela has done a great job. Now you may want your pupils to remember how to work and how to write. So you might have a Moodle something that has to do with improving writing. So what is the advantage of using Moodle? You have everything in one place. Because Moodle is a portal to any e-learning resource or activity. So, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you see the advantages of using Moodle and learn to use it with your pupils. Goodbye.